All right, I'm going to give this a few minutes here just to make sure that everything's working fine. Uh, unannounced live stream. Um, just wanted to cover a couple of videos very quickly here and some different information. Um, so I'm going to just wait for a minute or two. Good afternoon. Emma and uh, Ethan, just a soldier 1611. I didn't drop out. Yeah. <laughs> Rumi, Rumi there. Uh, nice to see you. Hi, Brian. Or hello, Brian. Hi. Um, yeah, that's part of what I'm going to be talking about here. Um, so, all right. I guess I'll get started. There's a number of people there watching it now. So, <clears throat> this is my website, by the way, if you don't know, uh, King James Video Ministries. I started back in 2007. So, we're nearing 20 years. Now that I've been in ministry full time. Um, so a lot has happened in that time, believe me. So, all right. Yeah, what a time to be alive. Yeah, I would agree with that. Um, so I just want to go over a couple of different videos here very quickly and um, some interesting things. Definitely, of course, like one of you commented here. Um, Right there, just a soldier, 1611. Uh, Biden dropped out. Yeah. Um, and of course, that's going to be uh, important to ignite the right further, to get the right wing all excited and everything else. And it's, you know, I'm doing this thing to remind us that we have to stay separate from this system. All right. We have to be very careful. We're supposed to be separate. Um, and uh, sancti sanctified, separated, biblical separation from the lost world. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Um, but this is an interesting thing I saw today. This guy brought this out about um, a different angle where you can actually hear the uh, different shots, the different sounds from the different guns. Okay, so um, let's listen to this real quick here. Thought this was interesting. So, did everybody hear that? That they said it was three shots from the shooter. Okay, so did everybody hear that? Just write in the comments, just say yes, I heard it, or something like that. Somebody can write that, just say that, yeah, you heard it. Just want to make sure that the audio is working and everything. Okay, good. Um, but now listen to the difference in the sound of the next shots, and then he plays it again. Listen to this. Okay, so you hear three kind of lower, boom, 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 and then like a bunch of them in rapid succession, and then a at the end. Well, I think that the the at the end was been the counter sniper thing shooting the guy but kind of weird i didn't hear that before but you can hear the boom 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 and then it almost sounds like the the second series of gunfire almost sounds like a suppressed type of rifle firing really weird but then he'll play it all again here so let's listen to this again <laughs> So, um, and again, a lot of people are misinterpreting what I'm trying to say with my videos where I'm questioning this whole thing. I, what I'm trying to get through here is I'm not saying there were no bullets. I'm not saying that there were no innocent bystanders killed. That's not true. I'm not saying I couldn't hit somebody or shoot a shot at 142 yards with iron sights. I'm not saying that either. And a bunch of people say, well, I could shoot some, you know, a target at 142 yards with iron sights. Yeah, I could too. But what I'm saying is, the science of how do you get the bullet to go just through the ear and not affect the rest of the head and whatever. I mean, it was a 
I guess it was by mistake or something or just a random coincidence. That's why I'm saying it. And there's some weird stuff going on here. People saying stuff about, I won't get into the video, but they show somebody up on top of the water tower. You know, there's a weird kind of a, it's really fuzzy because they're trying to zoom way in. Um, uh, you know, it's just really weird what's going on here. Um, so, you know, they stage stuff all the time. And of course, the CIA was very famous with the JFK assassination thing that they were coming out with a lot of conspiracy theories. That's when the whole conspiracy term conspiracy theory basically came from the Kennedy assassination. They do this in broad daylight. They make it really confusing, a lot of contradicting stuff to just kind of make people uneasy and unaware and whatever else they assassinated Kennedy in broad daylight in front of lots of eyewitnesses um, an attempt made on Trump um, whatever but see it's intended for multiple purposes again it's divide and conquer you have to understand that they're not going to come out with an official story if they do it won't make sense you know and that's what they're trying to do they're trying to divide the American people and get people to fight over this stuff and that's why I'm saying I'm talking about this, not because I'm interested in all the gossipy stuff or whatever. No, I'm just trying to say, understand what it's really about. It's about divide and conquer. Jesus Christ warned about if a house divided be divided against itself, it cannot stand. Well, if a nation is divided against itself, it cannot stand. And that's what is going to be happening now with this thing of Kamala Harris versus Trump. They're going to make it into this thing of black versus white when she's not really even black. She's mingled. She's mixed, um, which... Let me show you something interesting on that. I actually heard a guy talking about that um, he was from New Hampshire, and he said that we would like to actually join with the second congressional um, region or something like that in Maine. And I was thinking, well, where's that at? You know, I was, we're probably in it up here in northern Maine, but I don't know where the second congressional region thing is or district, I'm sorry. And here you have the second congressional district and then the this uh, pinkish purple collar down here is the first congressional district <laughs> and it's actually pretty accurate because a lot of Maine I'm up here in the very top part of uh, Penobscot County and then Aroostook County is the real big county up here it's one of the biggest counties in America actually it's a huge county and um, then you get over here into Piscataquis I think Somerset over here but you know this is a very rural area this is Allagash Wilderness over here where I'm showing but Northern Penobscot and then right here in the little corner there is uh, Mount Katahdin, the start or end of the Appalachian Trail, which I talk about a lot. But uh, it's a lot of conservative people up here, a whole lot of conservative people. So I looked this up and I was going down through this and I thought, OK, that's interesting. Ethnicity, white, 90.9% of the people in the second district here are white. But 4% are two or more races. And I thought, huh? Well, okay, it's ethnicity. Two or more races. Why are they making a distinction there? And let's get back here like this. Just do the little pop-up window. Multiracial Americans or mixed race Americans are Americans who have mixed ancestry of two or more races. And I thought, hmm. So a liberal state like Maine is classifying mixed people as a different ethnicity so then if that's true if this is what liberals would go with then how could you say that Kamala Harris in the future is a black woman or something you see what I'm saying so it, the whole thing all this propaganda that they're going to be using to divide the country it just doesn't, it doesn't even make any sense it's craziness but um, I saw this thing too and I'd like to get your thoughts put it in the comments section um, this whole thing of this woman right here, this there's behind Trump and she's she keeps looking over where the shooter's at, you know, like this. And people are saying how calm she is. And she's just, you know, gets her cell phone out after the shooting and she's just, you know, taking some video of it. And they're saying, is this woman, this Janine, I have no idea how to say that last name. Is she the is this her there and there? I don't know. It's an interesting thing because she's the assistant director of the FBI right now so kind of an interesting thing again that would lead to some people would say well you know maybe she was just there as a fan or something or or maybe she's there um to oversee the operation 
And that's why she was looking over where the shooter was at. I mean, you can watch the video. She looks right over at the shooter a couple of times. And then as it's getting close, she she gets down and puts a sign up, you know, the Trump pro Trump sign thing. So really weird. Um, but then this one here, this this is where, again, I'm very worried about or not worried, but I'm saying this is one of the things that concerns me where I look and I say, oh, boy. Listen to what this woman says. This is on the redacted show. Um, she was an eyewitness. She was right there in the stands and everything else. But listen to what she says about Trump. Okay. Because, see, whenever you have somebody and they they survive this stuff and, and this unexplained thing where some guy shoots from 142 yards and it goes through his ear just right at the last second he turns and it goes right through the ear and Wow, it's amazing. It's it's this is from God. It's a miracle from God or something. Um, see, they're the Antichrist form of Christianity. Okay, the Antichrist form of worshiping God is go not going to be Bible believing Christianity. It's going to be a satanic counterfeit for it. And that again, don't fall for this stuff. Understand that there were standards in the past, and you know this all this Mandela effect and everything. They didn't change the Word of God, but what they are trying to do through the witchcraft of Hollywood, is they are trying to actually change what it means to be a Christian. And this woman here, she's talking about going to see her pastor, and then she's using profanity. You know, I mean, I grew up, there were movies, there were movie ratings. And, you know, if there was any profanity in a movie rating at all, you know, it was rated PG or PG-13 or something. You know, even in, in on television, when I was a boy, they would bleep out all the profanity. But now Christians are using profanity. Everything's fine. Donald Trump using profanity, and he's a good Christian. You know, been a, a whore hopping, fornicating, adulterer, you know, devil. But I think he's a saved man. I think he's a Christian. You know, he got born again when after he got shot, he got down on his knees and he got born again right there. <laughs> okay, uh, let's not forget what Bible believing Christianity is. But listen to what this woman says. This is the worrying thing here. And I think she misspeaks a little bit, but it kind of, you'll see what I'm talking about. Listen to this. Hard for him because if they tried it once, they're going to do everything. I don't know. I'm scared what they're going to try to do before November. They are oh, so afraid too. of him. They are, so they are so afraid of him. Why? Oh, the, the deep state. <sighs> Donald Trump was trained by the Jesuits. Okay, and I realize they train lots of people. I understand that. People go to Jesuit universities and they come out and they aren't used for specific events and whatever else. But when you look at the power structure of America, you look at the connections to the Jesuit order. Again, if you don't understand what the Jesuit order is, you had the Protestant Reformation in the 16th century. Ignatius de Loyola came out, approached the Pope in 1540 and said, I want to make a new uh, brand, a new uh, military order of Roman Catholics called the Society of Jesus, also known as the Jesuit Order. And these Jesuits, their plan was to bring all people back under the authority of Rome because the Roman Catholic Church is not just religious, it's political as well. They have two swords. I've preached about this for many years. That's why they're dangerous. It's a religious political system. And see, what's dangerous about that is if you don't agree with us religiously, we'll put you to death. That's why they have two swords. And I've showed it in the Reims New Testament. It's over there right now. I'm doing some research on that. But I've showed it where they talk about putting heretics to death. And written by the Jesuits in 1582. Okay. And they still hold to these things. The Catholic Church has never gone back on this stuff. The whole ecumenical council in 1962 with the Second Vatican Council, it's a smokescreen for what they really believe. And these Catholics, um, they're some dangerous people, and they will kill you thinking that they do God's service, just like the Bible warned about the end times. But listen to what she says here, coming up. So afraid of him, and I tell you what, he's exactly what our country needs. He was not afraid, and I guarantee you, guarantee you, if they would have left him, he would have stood there and finished that speech with the blood dripping from the side of his head. That's the man he is. He wouldn't have walked <laughs> yes, out. Teddy Roosevelt style. He would have done it. I, he wanted to continue. He, we know that he wanted yep. to, um, but they and he went not. golfing the next day. <laughs> he was yeah. golfing the next. I mean, you can't, 
he is for our country and that's what we need. We need somebody who is for us and we need somebody who's God. He. <laughs> okay. Did you hear what she just said? We need somebody who is God. I think she was trying to say who has God, but she literally just said, we need somebody who is God. All right. Let me back it up here just a little bit and I'll put on the closed caption thing so you can see it. Um, she says, we need somebody who's God or who is God. The belt style. He would have done it. I, he wanted to continue. He, we know that he wanted yep. to, um, but they and he went know. golfing the next day. <laughs> he was yeah. golfing the next day. I mean, you can't, he is for our country and that's what we need. We need somebody who is for us and we need somebody who's God. Who's God. <laughs> uh, and see, you know, as things go on, he's going to come out and he's, you know, uh, going to be acting like God. He's going to be gathering worship from people. And I mean, just damning him to hell and things. But, you know, I let's just assume that she misspoke there a little bit. Who has God? She just kind of blended it all together. Who's God? Even if she was trying to say who has God, how could you be so deceived? And she's talked about earlier in the interview how she goes to church. Why I rip on church buildings and, and things. These people have no concept um, what the Bible really teaches. But he has God. How does Donald Trump have God? Uh, could somebody please explain that to me? You know, um, I've been around Christians all my life. I've been a preacher for quite a few years now in full time ministry. Um, and it blows my mind the kind of stuff I'm seeing people trying to come out. Well, you know, I'm a blankety blank Christian and all this other stuff. And I'm thinking, excuse me? No, you're not. So, and then another one here. This is a funny one, uh, Stranger Than Fiction. It's not my channel. Okay, I know the guy, the brother that runs the, the channel there. We write back and forth a little bit and things. Uh, he's not me and I'm not him. Okay, he doesn't even live in America. I'm not going to say any more details about him. He wants to keep his stuff private. That's fine. Um, but I see that still in the comments. Oh, you're, you run the Stranger Than Fiction channel. No, I don't. And he doesn't, you know, I'm not him and he's not me. But um, listen to what Hawk Hogan says here. Again, the short memory span. They want to try to cover up things. And, and now, it's so funny because I compared Donald Trump to the whole thing of wrestling. You know, the, the blading thing that they take a blade out, they cut themselves, and, you know, could have cut his ear. Just as a theory, I didn't say if that's what happened. And people, how could he have done that in front of all those eyewitnesses? Well, how do you think the professional wrestlers did it, uh, you know, in front of all the different people out there? They're at a professional wrestling event, WrestleMania or something like that. They're doing it in front of all the eyewitnesses. He could certainly do it in front of eyewitnesses. And he had sec secret security guy on top of it. Yeah, there, I see a brother put that up there. I can confirm though we're different people, yeah. They foul out there. Um, but yeah, uh, but Trump's been involved in the whole wrestling thing for years. Um, and why wouldn't they use professional res wrestling tactics and things? Again, that's all I'm saying. What are the probabilities of shooting a bullet and having go through the ear and all that other stuff? I just, I feel that they, the shooting stuff was real, absolutely. Um, but a bullet going through the air? Eh, I don't know about that. And you know, the couple different ballistic gun channels come out, and they're just saying there's no way it's not possible to make that shot. You know, we're, we'll put up a ballistic, you know, zombie torso head or something or whatever else. And could you shoot from through the ear at 142 yards? No, no, can't happen. You can't recreate the shot, but we're supposed to believe that it happened. Yeah. Okay. But listen to what Hawk Hogan says here. This was a really good find. Good find, brother. You know, we never had it better than the Trump years. <laughs> we never had it better than the Trump years. Really? Uh, you, you should be ashamed to make a statement like that there. Terry, his real name. Um, we never had it better? Excuse me? I was born in 1975. I can tell you we had a lot of years better. A lot of different times that were much better than when Trump was in. I mean, the, the Trump was not, you know, he did not bring great times to America. He brought a lot of evil to this nation. You know, never had it better than Trump was in. 
yeah so continue listening here i have to really you know make a point there about that so there's maine right there look at that back then we had a thriving economy <laughs> we had a thriving economy <laughs> uh oh i don't know uh, 2019 this country was about ready to crash and 2020 they shut down the economy forced people to stay in their homes quantitative easing times four uh printed up trillions of dollars thriving economy yeah don't forget what these liars are doing evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse deceiving and being deceived you're watching end time prophecy coming to pass right before your eyes you let god be true and every man a liar Okay, listen to what else he says. We had strong borders. We had we had strong borders. No, we didn't. They were getting in back then. But listen to what he says here. This this last one cracks me up. Safe streets. We had <laughs> we had safe streets. Uh, I'm not going to show any videos of it, but you can just do the research on your own. Um, Black Lives Matter. Uh. You know, things, cities being burned down and people being killed in the streets. And, uh, you know, some of the videos I saw back then of what was going on in 2020 when Trump was in, uh, people being beaten to death, people being put into wheelchairs for the rest of their lives. But, you know, it's about professional wrestling, brother. That's what it's about, brother. So, uh enough of that um we'll go back to something more peaceful this is mount katahdin here i took this picture myself um driving back from the gas station one time this is to the south of us here at the office but uh yeah so i have to put this one comment up here born again barbarian you may be a false teacher I think you want a space between the may and the b there well you know what there's only one way to find out about that you know what it is to get a king james bible and follow along with my studies and make sure i'm not lying to you i might be a false teacher you are correct follow along in your bible and find out okay uh Trump has a Hollywood star. Yes, he does. And what do you have to do to get that? Again, the friend of the world is the enemy of God. How does it work out for Trump? Oh, unless he's running for president, then he's God on earth, you know, or something. Um, okay, I guy have to take it. Do you support what Democrats support? You are a false teacher. <laughs> I'm a lifelong, uh, lifelong uh registered republican i ask questions okay democrat versus republican please wake up okay two different wings of the same bird all right um There's anything else here I want to address? Yeah, now all these false professing Christians are claiming that Trump was spared by the Lord, or is the Holy Spirit leading them to all the truth? Yeah, exactly. Um, it's just insane to me. Mm -hmm. Is our, our Catholics taking over our country with the Republic, Republican Party? Yeah, that's what they're trying. Absolutely. That's what I've been warning about. That's what the whole igniting the right movement is about. Get them all excited and everything else. And um, The only reason I listen to Brian is because he's King James and I pray for the man, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to call him out. Certainly. I'm not perfect. You can ask questions and whatever else. Absolutely fine.
day one at the Republican National Convention, they had the dollar pyramid on stage as the background. Wow, I didn't see that. That's doesn't surprise me. Um, so. this time the power of god saves trump you can't deny the power and go to heaven uh okay um so god saved a wicked fornicating liberal city boy that all of a sudden turned out to be republican uh when he ran the first time you can find plenty of video clips of him um saying things that are anti-gun he's pro sodomy and all the other things uh what about his speech that he gave back years ago where he talked about ending anti-Catholic bias. What about that one? Yeah. Um, question, brother, this is off topic, but will you make more cooking videos in the future? Um, I was actually planning on doing some. I was going to do some um, wood stove cooking, you know, cooking on a wood stove videos. Thought that might be kind of an interesting thing but didn't get around to it this year we just had a bunch of things come up so um i might eventually do some more i don't know um uh trump administration administration wants war with iran israel wants war with iran not a coincidence the shooting was blamed on iran yeah the uh papal union the jews popes are uh really running things in this country right now and, and you know understand that the jesuit order is has a lot of people what we call papal union jews that serve the pope as opposed to jews that do not serve the pope there are both uh, don't be idiotic and come out and say that all jews are wicked you know um, evil people or whatever else it's you can't just brush stroke them that way um Trump is a minister of Satan, a minister of uh, a form of has a form of righteousness, but definitely not a minister of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, Amen. You're exactly right on that. Um, he is Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Um, I make a ton of unleavened bread, lots of oats and cornmeal. Cornbread is easy and cheap to make. Ryan's video has got me interested in healthy cooking and eating. I love your fudge recipe. It is really good. We haven't made any in a while. I'd like to make some more. Um, but yeah, if you haven't seen the videos, you can check those out. Uh, actually, a healthy fudge recipe. But again, what I try to focus on with our eating is all natural, whole eating, whole foods, um, you know, raw fruits, raw uh, vegetables, uh, eating things, but not really expensive stuff, you know, kind of eating good on a budget. Okay, uh, I have no doubts you're a false teacher. Based on what? My disagreements with Trump? All right, the Lord rebuke you. Get off of my channel. Goodbye. Don't judge me based on Republican versus Democrat. I'm a Republican. I stand against abortion. I stand against sodomite rights and things, and a lot of things that Trump wouldn't even have the guts to stand against. But judge me according to the scriptures you go into the bible am i in line with scripture right if i'm in line with scripture i'm not a false teacher so run along troll uh trump and his whole family are noahides i've i've heard some things about that people have been asking me to you know look into that more i probably should that's something that's kind of on my list to do um Nothing processed in any way and stay away from the soy unfermented fermented. It's not good for us. Yeah. Soy based stuff is really bad and processed foods. The only way, again, if you have, you go out into a garden or nature and you pick something, it's going to go bad within a few days. Well, how then can they ship it to a grocery store and have it sit there on the shelf for, you know, months on end? 
well, they have to put a bunch of chemicals into it to keep it there. Those chemicals are not meant, um, you know, uh, for you to ingest. So, Uh, if you have trouble with Microsoft Windows, then try Linux. Uh, my wife was getting into some of the Linux stuff, and and um, we looked into it a little bit. And you know, I'm kind of uh, old school. I have a hard time learning new technologies. <laughs> mm -hmm. Off topic. What is Freemasonry? Um, Freemasonry is a secret society. Uh, you'll see them in. You know, we have a Masonic lodge here in town. This little tiny dinky town. Of Pat, and it's just down the street from us. And basically, lower levels, the, the Blue Lodge, they have three different levels in that. You have um, Entered Apprentice, um, Fellow Craft, and Master Mason, I think, are the three degrees. But then you get into the York Rite, the Scottish Rite, and it's just basically a do gooder club. But if you study the actual philosophers behind Freemasonry, um, they are worshiping Lucifer. And so, again, you get some guy, it's a low-level Freemason, you say, oh, he's a Satanist or something. Well, not really. Um, probably not a Satanist openly understanding what he's part of. But you get up into the higher levels of Freemasonry. Again, look at some people that are notorious bad guys or whatever, and you'll see a lot of times they were Freemasons. So a big study there on that. Um, so... Ah, I missed it. This one. The only one Jesus can't save is the devil himself. Uh, wrong. No, also the uh, Antichrist and the false prophet. So. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing some of you talking about um, Trump's uh, stuff with Kabbalah and whatever else. It's going up pretty quick here, so I'm not, I can't really get into the whole thing there. But yeah, into Kabbalah, I'm sure. I don't doubt that for one minute. Which is why he was into perversion. Going to Epstein, you know, hanging out with Jeffrey Epstein and all that stuff. They're all tied in with the whole system. The Jesuits and the, the Jews working with the Vatican and all that stuff. And Wall Street and the whole finance world. Um, that's what they're part of. So. <clears throat> Ryan, so many people lie about you. It's crazy to see. God bless you for sticking with God's perfect word. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people lying about me. Um, stuff. You know, that some of the things that have been said about me. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could take people to court and sue them for, you know, uh, what's the defamation of character. Um, I don't have the time for that. You just kind of have to go forward and do what you have to do. And, you know, just to everybody out there, just watch my teachings. Okay. You're going to get, I'll offend you at some point in time. I'll say the wrong thing or whatever else. But my heart is, I have a heart of love for people and for the word of God, the King James Bible. And if I'm wrong, have some grace for me, okay? I, I don't try to deceive um, people or anything else. So, but, um, okay. So, all that to say, um, remember what this whole thing is about. As things get crazier, as things get nuttier, and we'll see now the thing of a black female president versus the white, you know, privileged white man president. They're just trying to get people to hate each other, you know, and then they can control through that's divide and conquer. They're using Jesuitical warfare strategies, the whole thing. Okay. Stick by the book, brethren. Okay. By the word of God. And uh, I do appreciate your prayers for the ministry. And, um, I have a bunch of things to come out with here and um, 
So that will be that. Um, I found you years ago when you lived in your other house and your channel was Husky. It was 394 XP. Do you still have your other channel? How old is your little son now? Um, Oliver is going to be 10 years old in September. So he's growing very well in things. Um, we don't have that house anymore. We sold it um, a while back. So um, so yeah. Okay. Well, that's going to be it for this live stream. And um, see everybody in future videos, upcoming videos. And uh, just, just real quick, if you want to put it in the live stream comments there, what does everybody think about the uh, walk and talks? Do you like those? I've been getting some good feedback on that. Um, I do like to, uh, I do like to, you know, be outside and things. I like that I do some more detailed studies in here, but I kind of like the, you know, just it, it's quicker. I can get up. I can have my camera. Uh, this camera right here is what I use. It's a Sony. This little Sony right here. It's nice. You just flip the thing out like this, the little viewfinder out, and then you can walk around talking in it. It's got optical Im image stabilizer and whatever else. And, and then that way, when I'm going on hikes, you know, I can share it with my viewers and things. Um, okay. iPhone 3G. <laughs> I don't have an iPhone. Uh, okay. Good. All right. Thank you very much for that feedback, everybody. So I'll keep the videos coming and we will see you in upcoming videos. All right. That'll be it. Thank you very much for watching.